Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm painting happy flowers. It has been a while since I posted a video. I have been quite busy with all my other things, but I'm very excited. I actually completed this work quite a few weeks ago and I've had some really good feedback about it. As always, start with preparing the canvas and my background is just for this one white paint with some Floetrol. This background I'm going to paint over eventually, so at the moment it's just a base layer to help um, set my flowers. In this work you will see that on the very first flower I make a bit of a mistake and I surround it with white paint. And you will see also that I have to keep fixing this flower throughout the painting. However, it works out really nice in the end. And the lesson learned is don't give up on your artwork just because you make a mistake. So as you will see here, I apply my flower uh, colors. Um, a lot of them are kind of mixed. So this one is uh, deep blue. Uh, and I'm really sorry, I'm, sometimes I'm really bad with color names in English. So dark blue, which was a mix of different blue colors, to be honest. This one is iridescent uh blue green i think or teal or something like that and in these ones i will put uh some sort of um so this is your violet this is also a mix of purples and violets and for each flower i'm going to add some sort of a gold or silver because i just love my golds and bronzes and silvers and here it is just a little bit you will see later I end up using a bit more gold and now this is the mistake I'm talking about because I am putting white around so I've learned very quickly don't do that <laughs> all right so here we go you will see what happens and I will pop in and out other than that enjoy the music I look at you and it's easy to see You are that someone I've been trying to meet I got your number, won't you pick up the phone? Don't leave me hanging on the dial tone Think back to the night that we met Jumping in the pool, talk to you, dripping wet Nervous when I speak, so I trip on my tongue Never thinking you would be my number one
melt the ice behind my stone cold eyes. I turn the ashes, but only just sometimes. Inhale your smoke, but you still act surprised. It's not my fault when we end up capsized. You call me crazy now, but you don't understand. I'm calling out to you. Can you hear a thing? Cause you lit the match. Get it nice to flame. I'm the TNT. But you're the spark to blame. And it's fire. Burning holes inside my brain. Feel the fire. Keep the melters down again. Now it's pouring through my veins. But I said you're the spark to blame. And it's fire. Burning holes inside my brain. Flaws can't keep love Built from a love 
love song No, I'm not only one solo I'm solely exploring what I need It's dozens of times I swear that I knew when the wisdom, the wisdom, the wisdom was candy Doesn't mean I was broken so open I gave and 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 I g
touchdown, touchdown, ayy. I be in the box like it's bento. Hit my heart beating, what's the tempo? Ain't the game running through your tempo. Bust down, bust down, ayy. So here I'm just adding a little bit of connections between the flowers and I already know again that I will be painting over them a little bit after they dry but I do like how the paint blends in naturally so I still do like to connect them. Plus you have noticed I create a little swirl in the middle of each flower giving each flower a little bit more shape just tiny bit of touch-ups for the background and before I start doing any other work I am going to leave the paint to dry for one week and it's one week because even though it's acrylic and acrylic dries quite quickly on the surface the layers underneath may still be wet and as you start to paint on top 
the paint may crack or bleed so for me I don't rush I just um, let it dry for one week and occasionally I work on several pieces at the same time on the same day uh, so you know it's kind of fun work on one then come back to the other and also I thought you know what uh, here at this time well here at this time uh, obviously it's everywhere in the world I forgot that <laughs> Halloween is everywhere Halloween is coming so how about some Halloween music for the rest of this video hmm that sounds like fun here you go guys
Lamborghini, blue Medina, always beaming. Rag top, chrome pipes, blue lights out of sight. Long way, so thin, say it again, so thin. Make that money, throw it in. Booty bouncing, gone here. Rose Force, Lamborghini, blue Medina, always beaming. Rag top, chrome pipes, blue lights out of sight. Long way, so thin, say it again, so thin. Make that money, throw it in. Booty bouncing, gone here. So here we go with the last finishing touches. I always keep track of which paints I've used. Obviously, as I mix a lot of my own colors, I always make sure that I keep them sort of together once the paint, uh, sorry, once the painting is drying. All the paints I've used, I sort of keep them together in one bunch. So it's easier for me to remember what I have used and if I need to do any touches. Uh, I just grab the bunch. I do hope that you enjoy watching my videos. I hope to hear some feedback in the comments. And I do really appreciate it. I hope you will like my channel and like my video and subscribe, please. I am working on more artworks and more videos and more ideas. In fact, I just put through an order for a lot more supplies. So I'm quite excited to be sharing some of my new ideas with you very soon. Of course, after I complete the painting, it takes me a while to create the video. As you can imagine, it has to dry and then I have to varnish it as well. So all my paintings at the end of each video have been completely dry and varnished and the same on the front of the video in my little screenshot at the front. Uh, that's a completed painting with varnish and why it's important to me it's because once you varnish the painting it actually uh, brings the colors out so for those of you who are new to this I do recommend finding a varnish that works for you I use gloss varnish and so this one right now is unvarnished you can see this is literally I just finished painting it and this is just to show how beautiful the cells turned out to be 
even in the flower that I was struggling with, which is this one. Check it out. In the end, it turned out, I think, very beautiful, very layered. And I'm quite happy with all the color choices and how the colors blend with each other. And of course, on video, you don't see the iridescence as well as you do in real life. But I use quite a bit of iridescent. And now this one has been varnished and you can see how the color pops. So yes, thank you for watching and please subscribe. See you guys in the next video.